guys, I have a confession to make. As a child, I had an addiction. And I was able to kick the addiction, at least to the point where I can moderate myself. But that addiction is now back. Because there is a new mod for Diablo 2 called Project Diablo 2. Now, this mod is awesome, and I, I almost feel bad calling it a mod because it's not it's not so much as like a mod as it is like a refreshing expansion kind of. They've done a ton to add a bunch of quality of life improvements to this game, like increased inventory size, increased stash size, uh, the Tomes of Town Portal and the Tomes of Identify can each have 50 stacks inside of them. The keys can have 50 stacks, but the keys are important because not only can those stack more, you can actually stack perfect and flawless gems as well as runes. Normally you would put them in the cube and three flawless gems can make a perfect or three of the same runes can up it by one. Uh, now you can still do that, but you have to use one of the keys in order to combine them, which is a small price to pay for the convenience of stacking a bunch of runes and stacking a bunch of gems. And now you don't have to have a separate character for rune and gem mules. You could all have it on one character in your giant stash and have it nice and organized and it's so much better. Other quality of life improvements on items now, there's a little uh, green number. That green number shows you the maximum possible or, or the maximum possible number or at least like the range of numbers that you can get on a certain stat. Also, as far as modifier and weapons go, they added a bunch and they, they adjusted a bunch on some of the items. So one of the things they added was splash damage on a lot of melee weapons, which is incredible, especially starting off if you're like, say you make like a druid or something, you start with that club. I'm not sure if the default club actually has splash damage. I haven't played a druid yet. But you just equip any basic melee weapon and then you could go into the Den of Evil level 1 and start splash damaging all the enemies and you clear out the den in like no time. Other quality of life uh, improvements, they added filters for searching for whatever type of game type. So if you want to do tomb runs or bail runs, you can actually just filter and see all the games that have that, which is really nice. If you remember from before, mercenaries can only have a helm, armor, and then whatever their weapon is. I know the Act 3 mercenaries can have a weapon and a shield, but... Normally, uh, Act 2, you'd have a spear and Act 1, bow. Now, you can also have belts, boots, and gloves, which is going to add a bunch of interesting combinations, I'm sure. Like, that probably adds a bunch more sets that a uh, mercenary can wield, which expands the possibilities of what your mercenary can do for you. Another thing you can do is stack shrines. So if you're running around and you have your experience shrine and you see a sweet stamina shrine that you want because you're running out of stamina and you don't want to give up your experience shrine, you can just pick up both and then go on with your day. I also think they increase drop rates on uniques and rares, but I can't confirm it. I haven't really looked into it. I didn't really want to research too much of it because I've had so much fun just kind of exploring the game and, and finding all these new quality of life changes and and improvements as I go. The best one that I've stumbled across, which I'm so glad, I'm so glad I didn't look it up because when I first entered it, I was like, what the? So the maggot layer used to be an awful place to, to go, especially when you're going through normal because you don't have as many spells to either skip through it or, or deal with like AOE damage and stuff. But now they increase the width of the maggot layer by double so if you have like a summoner necro, or for me, I was using a, a hydra sorceress, it makes your spells and summons so much more useful when they have more room to work. And the last thing I found, which is pretty cool, is before when you would beat a difficulty, let's say normal or, or nightmare, you can then go back and use Wart's Leg with a Tome of Town portal and you make the cow level. But the one rule of the cow level is don't kill the king, because if you kill the king, then you can't make the portal again until now because now in project diablo 2 they made it so you can kill the cow king as many times as you want and you can still make the portal so if you want a cow like the good old days before bail runs you can do that you can do that to level up you can do that for your magic fine runs have fun kill some bovine get your beef on
that's pretty much it for quality of life things. Um, you could see a lot more details on the website. The website shows you a bunch of cool little improvements they've done to the game, like adding ladders and stuff. They've also readjusted a lot of the skills and spells and, and, and I guess just the way that um, each of the classes work. Some seem to have got more spells than others, but what they also did was they they added and removed synergies from different spells. So um, if you remember classic Diablo 2, orb sources, frozen orb sources, used to be super popular until frozen orb didn't really get any synergies and Blizzard got all those synergies. synergies. So if you see a cold sorceress in Diablo 2, um, Lord of Destruction, chances are it's a Blizzard sorceress. But now they've made frozen orb sorceresses viable again. They actually took away a bunch of the synergies from Blizzard. But that's just one little example. I've been making a Hydra source, which they now have lesser Hydra and and the regular Hydra. The well, I guess the lesser Hydra Hydra is the regular Hydra that shoots fireballs, fire bolts, and the new regular Hydra is fire balls that you get at level 30. Um, and they get a lot of bonuses from synergies too. So I've had a lot of fun doing that. Whereas normally if I made a fire source, it's just the old fireball meteor build. But um, I'm going to make other videos going more in depth with uh, each of the characters. But as far as like other quality of life things, like I'm sure I'm going to find more of them as I go through Nightmare and Hell. I just did a quick run through normal. I didn't even play multiplayer at all. I just wanted to go through single player and just have an experience to myself. And I highly recommend if you like Diablo 2 or if you like Diablo 3 and you haven't tried Diablo 2 before, this is a good time to try it out. And I'm hoping, hoping that Blizzard sees a new love for Diablo 2 and they come and remaster it or do something with it or do like, I don't know, they already made Diablo 4 make like Diablo 3, but... You know, hopefully they throw some extra life in Diablo 2. That's all I got to report on this for now. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, do some fan art, and show me some love, support. Um, and until next time, keep on questing.